Hey guys, Steve here again. Today I'm gonna to be chatting to you about my personal collection of skydiving helmets. The collection that I use is the Cookies. So we have a Cookie G4, a Cookie Fuel, and a G3. Now I have different uses for all of my helmets. The G3, uh, the G4, sorry, is what I use for tandems, AFF, and canopy piloting. The Fuel is what I use for filming, camera work, uh, tandems, four-way, stuff like that. And then the G3, I generally use if I'm doing four-way, uh, sorry, three flying or stuff like that. Um, to be honest, I don't really use my G3 anymore because this is such a nice fit. Uh, for people who are just coming into skydiving or, or just learning how to skydive, the G4 is a great helmet for you to get after you've passed your AFF. Um, the Cookie Fuel, also a fantastic helmet. Obviously, you're not allowed to have these accessories on the top until you've got 200 jumps. But for me, the full face, I love the full face because I can close it up. I have no airflow in my face. I've not got to worry about snot going everywhere. Um, the Fuel, also a fantastic helmet. It's great for filming four-way or tandem, stuff like that. Uh, on the G4, unfortunately, we don't have a cutaway system. On the G, on the Fuel, you have a cutaway system just here. And the benefit of this is if your cameras get tangled up in a line or anything like that in free fall, you can pull this little handle, it'll disconnect the chin cup and the helmet will come off. So you'll lose your helmet, but it's gonna make sure that you don't get in any further danger. Uh, you get it off, uh, it's pretty much the same as your reserve drills. Practice it on the ground, put the helmet on, practice finding the cutaway handle because you want a muscle memory of knowing where that is so if something does happen, you can get the helmet off. So just a quick demonstration about my personal collection. Thanks for watching, have a great day guys.